everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is just a quick look at the 1989 Python Patrol Crimson Guard for our theme month. We've been looking at Python Patrol toys, and I promise there were some decent Python Patrol figures, but the ones we've looked at this month have been pretty rough. I have to thank a friend, Steve, for donating this figure to me. Thank you, Steve. This figure is pretty rough, and a lot has already been said about this figure by other reviewers, and so how much can I add? Um, there is a lot uh, wrong with this guy. Uh, this is supposed to be a Crimson Guard figure, um, but uh, you might notice that there's very little crimson on this Crimson Guard figure. Uh, also, it's a much simpler figure in terms of paint applications. We lost a lot of paint applications in the translation from the first version to the Python Patrol version. We have fewer paint applications on the head, uh, no painted stripes on the legs, um, we have less detail on the shoulders and the chest. Instead of having the uh, cobra symbol, we have this lattice pattern. No more patch on the shoulder. Uh, and so we've lost a lot in translation. What we gained is a crimson guard figure with very little crimson and lots of other colors that are just kind of slapped together almost at random and uh, don't match up very well. We do kind of have a consistent gray color from top to bottom, but then we have this yellow that's just sort of there. He just has a yellow shirt that matches nothing else uh, for no reason other than uh, they just had to give it some kind of Python Patrol color scheme. There were better Python Patrol color schemes. They could have done better, and the Crimson Guard is a popular figure, so you would expect them to put extra effort into making a good second version. This is a figure that did not make the cut for a full review this month. Uh, as you may know, or you may not know, uh, one rule I have on this channel is that I try to review the first version of a figure before I review review subsequent versions, and I have not reviewed uh, the first version of Crimson Guard yet. I'm saving that for something special, so it may take a little while uh, before we get to this figure for a full review. I can promise, though, when we do get to it, I will have plenty to say about it. For now, that's just a quick look at it. Thank you for watching, and thank you for watching all of the Python Patrol and Slaughter's Marauders videos this month. I'll be back soon for another full review. Until then, don't forget to find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon, and my website, hcc 78 there is a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review coming up this weekend. I will see you then.